very hot morning in Japan. Today we woke up kind of early to go to a special place for our anniversary. It's part of my little present for Brian. Thank we you. you're welcome. I'm taking Brian to his favorite restaurant, not restaurant, like to eat Mexican. That is his favorite kind of food. <laughs> I like Mexican food, but it's not my favorite for sure. My favorite is Japanese, but it's Brian's present. Part of it, there will be one more present that will come. Uh -huh. You will receive the second present while we are at the restaurant. What? Thank you. Is it a big kiss? Yeah, it's a big kiss. Honestly, I've never been to this restaurant, but I read a lot of good reviews on TripAdvisor and stuff, so we're going there. Hopefully it will be good. Paper. So I want to share a story. We got off at the wrong station and it's like one station away from where we need to go. So we were debating, we were like, should we just walk? It's a 10 minute walk to the restaurant. Or should we take the train back and go to the other station? And I was like, I don't know, what should we do? So I asked Brian and Brian asked me, he said, how long is the walk if we walk from here? And I said, 10 minutes. And he was like, what if we take the train? How long is the walk from the other station to the restaurant? And I said, four minutes. And Brian said, do you want to say what you said? We might as well take the train then. So lazy. We are so lazy. What temperature is it? It's 34 degrees. I mean, 34 is not too hot. We got to go to track four. Track four. The train system is so complicated in Japan still. It's not really. It is somehow complicated if we still get lost after two years. We took the train. I like this area in Tokyo, the Ebisu area. So the reason why we took the train is because in Japan lately we've been chronically tired. So tired all the time. I work five days a week until 10 p.m. I start late, but still like I leave from home at 11.30 and I come home at 11. When I come home at 11, I usually go to the gym. Like three times a week, I go to the gym. In the morning sometimes, I wake up early because I want to edit and write the subtitles and all this stuff. Plus, <laughs> my days off are not back to back. And I've been doing this for one year. And of course, after a while, it's kind of like, takes its toll, right? Because my days off are Saturdays and Mondays. So when I want to do something with Brian, because it's Saturday night or because it's Sunday, it's either I work that day or I will have to work the next day. I never have those two days back to back where I can actually relax. And I have 10 days off a year, so because it's normal in Japan, people have on average 10 days off, like paid holiday. I'm just very, very tired lately. Even when I have my weekend, I feel like I can't recover and recharge properly. So every day I'm struggling. Every day I'm struggling. <laughs> <sighs> but I have some days in August. We have a lot of plans because we want to travel in Japan and stuff. Hopefully though, I'll be able to relax a little bit, recover. <sighs> Do you like this weather, baby? It's not the worst thing in the world. I think I'd rather, it's hard to say, but I'd probably rather be this extreme hot than hella cold. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. We're here in the building. We're taking the elevator. It's on the ninth floor. Ninth floor. Let's go. Whether it's good or not, 
we order a lot of food. I'll tell you because I order ceviche. I love ceviche. I'm an expert. I'll tell you guys. Okay, the first plate has arrived. The ceviche. It's a little small though. A little small, but I knew this was a fancy restaurant, so we ordered a lot of food because I know that the portions are small. I'll show you. Things are coming. Happy Brian. This looks good. Did I choose the wrong time? Like maybe it's American time and we're in Japan so 1.30 in America is like tonight. Why? Or did I waste money? Was it a scam? I don't think so. It's not a scam, it's too established. But I'll tell you later what it is if he doesn't receive it. So the present hasn't arrived. Brian knows what it is. I told him, I showed him a picture, the present's there, I don't know why it's not there. I will have to write an email, but baby boy, do you want to tell him what it is? It's like class on chess by one of the best chess players of all time. Because Brian loves to play chess. You don't seem too excited. I am. I just don't know how to show my excitement. <laughs> You full? Me too. But I still want to eat more. I ate like five fajitas. But anyways, we solved the mystery. We know what happened. I didn't notice that it said Pacific time. So technically he will receive his present at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. That was a stupid mistake. Happy anniversary, baby. Brian went to the bathroom and he's super full but I wanted dessert and I know that if I wait for him he will tell me not to get dessert so I just ordered dessert without him knowing me how hungry are you not hungry <laughs> this is rare this is like a rare cheesecake that thing is super alcoholic it is how is it we'll be so drunk because we don't drink I don't drink but I saw that thing and I thought it was a mango granita it looks delicious I was like I want it I tried it super alcoholic I don't want to leave it though it's even expensive like no I'm gonna drink that thing hey beauty this is the outside it's very nice the thing is that it's a little hot My baby boy, how was it? Very nice, very cool place. Five stars. I got five stars. <laughs> I got five stars. She got five stars. She got five stars. She got my what? Hey Brian. A cow. A cow? Yeah. <laughs> That's the cow that jumps on the grass. Like the first time they've ever seen grass. Yeah. And they get on it and they're like, that's how I feel in Tokyo. And actually, look at this grass. It's still fake grass. It's fake. There's no grass in Tokyo except for this tree. If I could have like two days off, I would probably just go by the beach, under a tree, like in the shade, read, sleep, eat fruit and yogurt. <sighs> what would you do? Honestly, I would work more on my YouTube and stuff. But he ain't the one who's vlogging today. Touche. Mmm. Look at that. 
I'm full, just kidding. It's bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-N. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Oh, that's true. You said banana. Banana. It's banana, B-A-N-A-N-A-N. All right, we're going to the bookstore. I bet it's even here. Babe, what would you do if you turned around like this? And you saw a ghost over there. A girl with dark, long hair. <laughs> so you don't want to share what book you want? This. Really? Big is frustrated because he hasn't found his book. Actually, he has, but he doesn't want to buy it anymore. But I bought my books. So in the end, he got a book. A different book. Seems very, very interesting. The culture map. But guys, like for real, I need a break. And I'm so tired that I'm even tired of saying that I'm tired. How are you, Sonny? I'm tired. In Japan, they work like crazy. They're hardworking people. I am hardworking, but then I get tired. <laughs> I'm just trying to be me. So Brian's editing and I don't know whether I should take a nap or work on my YouTube because I have a lot of things to edit, subtitle and everything and I'm like but maybe I should take a nap or maybe I should do something more passive like watching a movie something that doesn't stimulate my brain I don't even have a TV here we don't have a TV maybe that's why I'm so tired because I'm always thinking because I can't just like turn off my brain and watch the TV yeah. good morning everyone I fell asleep and I slept for like two hours. I don't take naps usually in the afternoon, but that was necessary. So plans for the rest of the day. The plan is just, we need to go to the gym. Let me wake up first. Tell me a joke. What did the fish say when it hit the wall? The fish when he hits the wall? Yeah. Splash? Damn. I don't get it. Do you know what a dam is? No. It's like the thing you build to block water from running. The thing that beavers build? It's called a beaver dam. International couples problems. <laughs> I don't get his puns. Guys, we're having a problem. You wanna explain the situation? Basically, this week I only have to work three days. Sonia has to work five days. And then after that I have many days off and Sonia only has like four days off this whole month. I was curious, like, should I tell Sonia that? Like, obviously she knows, but like, should I talk about it? Because it kind of makes her jealous. And I don't know if I should make her jealous or like just keep it to myself. But I also want to share, so I don't know. For me, it's really hard because I'm happy. Honestly, I'm happy for him. He gets to relax, he gets to enjoy the summer, wake up whenever he wants to, do something nice, so I'm happy for him. On the other hand, I can't help but being jealous. I can't. So whenever he brings that up, I'm like, nice, good for you. And then I'm like, I feel bad for myself. What should we do? Poor little monkey. Ooh -hoo. We worked out, power couple. Brian, what? would you like I... to have a unicycle? No. <laughs> Thank you for asking that random question. All right, we're back home. We're about to have dinner. We will watch something. Salmon. I don't know what I want to watch. I think I want to watch either like Finnish Ode, Ozark, 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 Ozark. I don't remember. I can't remember that name. Or watch Eurotrip. Brian has never seen Eurotrip. Never. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. It was fun talking to you guys throughout the day. If you liked it, subscribe and leave a comment. Brian, last words. Like and subscribe. <laughs>